Hey guys, in this tutorial, I show you how to use Flash CS5's new text tool features. The text tool has gotten some tweaks in Flash CS5, many of which appeal more to graphic designers than anything. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. You just go ahead and click the text tool like before. And you'll notice at the top here you have a new option. If you hold down your mouse button, you can either select TLF text or classic text. We're just going to go with TLF text for right now. And what we can do here is a couple of different things. So first, let's go ahead and draw a text box, just kind of like this. And now I'm just going to go ahead and paste some text in here that I already have in there. So I went ahead and did that. And now, as we can see, as I scroll up here, it's kind of cut off because there's a lot of text here. But I'm just going to go ahead and extend my uh, text box outward like this so we can see all the text. So one of the things we can do, let's say, for instance, you don't want this to be one entire text box. You actually want to split it into columns. Well, in the old Flash, you would actually have to make another text box and then split it up manually. But here, if we go to our properties box, let's just make sure we have the text uh, box highlighted. We go to the properties box. If we go down here to the bottom, you'll see that there is a columns option. So let's go ahead really quick and just put in two and hit enter. You can see that it automatically changes um, the way the text box looks and puts it into columns. And of course, you can change this to how many um, columns you want. So if we put four, it'll split up into four columns. So you can also adjust some other things here too. Like you can adjust the width of the gutters, for instance, and you just click, hold, and drag this, and you can see already that you're moving the um, space between the columns and all that kind of stuff. And the same down here, you can adjust the padding. For instance, on the left, if you want the left to be in, in more, you can do it like that, the right, and so on. So those are some things you can play around with. The other, I would say, big thing that um, Flash has added here is the ability to link text boxes together. So I'm simply going to come back here and change this to one column so I can demonstrate this. And I'm going to squish my text box back, actually, just so it's like this. So what I'm going to do is create another text box by just, again, with the text tool, um, dragging like that. And now you'll notice when we come to our first text box here that, as I, I pointed out before, it's you can't see all the text and this is indicated by this little red icon down here so if we click that red icon and then we bring our cursor over here to the other box you'll see that the cursor changes to almost like a chain link icon this means you can link the text together so if we just go ahead and click that it'll automatically bring the overflow to this text box so for instance, this is great. Let's say we want to add another sentence right here. So we can go into this text box and type, this is really cool or something like that. And as we do that, as you probably saw, it just um, pushes the text all the way over to here and it just keeps going. And you can link other text boxes too because again, this one isn't showing all the text either. So you can make either another text box and then flow this one over to there and you could do that and so on. And this is great too if you're maybe designing a web page <clears throat> and let's say you want to wrap your text around an image that's in the center of the web page. You could simply take your text box here, move it up, and you could squish it to the dimensions you want. And then you could have your image right there and then maybe another text box right here and so on like that. Anyway, there are some other features you can play around with here too, but those are the major changes to the new text tool in CS5. So anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.